Hi everyone, let's try to solve another problem on isometrical projections. It's the 24th problem. We have the question like this. A frustum of cone base diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on top face of a cylindrical diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. Here, it is similar to the previous problem as we have done for a frustum of a cone having 50 mm diameter and top surface of 25 mm diameter. The same third thing is being placed on a cylindrical diameter of 60 mm having a diameter of having a height of 60 mm. So let's try to solve this particular problem. We'll open the software. We'll take the line as normal. We'll draw the base diameter that is 60 mm. So we'll draw it on a side. So we'll give it as 60 enter 30 enter 60 150 as the angle again 60 as here again minus 150 60 length and angle as minus 30 so this gives the base now let's divide the base as we used to do for the previous problems then to the opposite side from here to the opposite side again from here to the opposite side center similarly from here to the opposite side center once we do this let's complete the circle inside this or the ellipse we call it as now let's take the tool of arc by three points you can take tangent arc also from here till here and tangent to any one of the line make sure you make this particular line as visible the arc as visible then change the line connect from this particular point to this point and click it over here same ways from this particular point to this particular point and here now create a copy of this so let's make a copy so select press hold the control and then drag it again we'll make another copy also so here Let's complete the top surface of this particular part so that we can place it on top of it. So now we have the height as 60 mm. So let's draw another line of 60 mm height. So I'll take it as normal line. I will draw it from the side so that it is easy. So the height is 60. Let's specify the length as 60 place it out there and then we'll place this particular drawing that we have done we'll move it we'll click on the end of this line and we'll place it on top of this here so after this we'll join the sides from this particular arc center to the center of this line similarly from here to the other line now let's try to trim the lines which are not necessary these lines are not necessary we'll trim it out if you want you can trim the construction lines also let's trim it out so that it is easily understandable so we'll trim these lines off also now here i'll trim this line so that it is easy for us to place the frustum of the cone so we'll zoom it and we'll delete the lines Even this we can delete it on both the sides. Let's fit it out now. So we have this particular square for 60 mm. Now we need it for 50 mm. So what we have to do is before that, let me make another copy of this also. Uh, let me make another copy here. So We'll select this and we'll scale it down. So we need it for 50 mm. So we have it as 60 mm. So we'll give it as 50 by 60 in the scale factor. So if you see here and if you place here, we have the dimension as 50. Now here again, so we have it as 60 mm. So we need to reduce it for 25 mm. So scale it down. So we need it for 25. We have to write 25 by whatever the actual dimension we have by 60. And if we place it here, you can see that its dimension is 25. Now, we have to place it at a height of 50 mm. So, from the side itself, I will draw a 
line normal line for 50 mm so we'll, here i will draw a line for 50 and i will place it over here so rather than placing out here i need to place it at the center because we have to place it at the center i'll trim this before this i'll trim these lines so that i can place it actually at the center we'll zoom this here also we need to trim it out so that we'll get the center we'll delete all the unnecessary lines now itself it and here also we'll delete the unnecessary lines that we made for the construction so let's delete it now we'll fit it and before we could join we need to draw the axis that is for a height of 50 mm so from this particular point let's draw a length of 50 mm and place it here now select the top surface and move it on top of the line we have drawn now click at the tip and then place it here after this we have to do this particular part that is you have to connect these ends of the arc so let's connect the end of the arc so it is taken as center line make sure you make it as visible line let's change it to visible once it is done now we have to draw the tangent line visible tangent line let's draw it from the bottom till here click when it is tangent drag it from the bottom then don't drag click and pull it from the top from the bottom then connect to the top surface now let's trim the excess lines okay once we have done we'll delete this bottom line and we'll delete this dimensions it is like not actually necessary now select it and move and click at the tip of this particular axis and place on top of this line that we have drawn first and here we need to trim the inside circle of the cylinder that we have drawn and here this actually finishes now we need to uh, let's delete this line which we made for the constructions if you want you can delete the other lines also i will show you how it looks if you delete the other lines So this is how the, actually the problem looks like so we need to select it and then scale it down so we need to scale it one to 0 0.8164 and hit enter and place it out here so this completes the problem